all right here i want to show you how you can find the diameter of a circle when you are given the circumference of the circle how you can find the diameter of a circle when you are given the circumference of the circle here the circumference that i want to use or the value of the circumference that i'll be using here is 100 millimeters 100 millimeters so to do that the first thing that i need to do so let's draw a straight line first okay so this straight line on this straight line i will take a measurement of 100 millimeters on this straight line so this is it so this is point a and this is point b so they are 100 millimeters apart so this is point a here and this is point b so 100 millimeters okay so this is my point b all right so since it is the circumference that is given i have to make this line i have to make it thick okay so this is the given circumference then the next thing that i need to do after this is to bisect the this line a b bisect it so put your compass here and you extend it to any convenient radius so you draw an arc here and down here then the same radius bring you to point b and you draw an arc here and here all right so we are going to draw a line through this point of intersection of the arcs so this is it all right so the next thing that you need to do is that you draw a semicircle so put your compass at this point here so let's call this point let's call it point x this is point x so this is point x here so put your compass at this point x and extend it to b or a then so you draw a semicircle all right the semicircle has been constructed so the next thing that you need to do is that put your the pinpoint of your compass at point b here at point b and extend it to x extend it to x then draw a semicircle so draw a semicircle sorry not a semicircle draw an arc not the semicircle draw an arc like this so the arc meets the semicircle at this point so let's call this point call it point y so that's point y so then from y draw a perpendicular line from point y here so draw a perpendicular line from y draw a perpendicular line so this is the perpendicular line okay so draw a perpendicular line then this point where the perpendicular line meets this line a b so we call it point z okay then put your compass at point z here and extend it to y extend it to y so from z extend it to y here okay then you draw an arc from here like this so the arc touch line a b at point c so this is point c so this line a c is the diameter of the circle this line a c is the diameter of the circle so let's take the measurement and then we'll do the calculation so if i take the measurement from here so i'm having this to be 32 millimeters the diameter is 32 millimeter millimeters so ac is 32 millimeters that is diameter of the circle so let's do it by calculation i will work it out and show you what i get okay i decided to use my calculator to do the calculation just a simple calculation so i said that the distance ac which is diameter of the circle is 32 millimeters by construction now by calculation let's see as we know that the circumference of circle is calculated with pi d so the circumference is got to pi d so for us to get the, the diameter we are going to divide the value of the circumference 
by the value of, of pi. So pi is 3.142, 3.142. So we have that the, the circumference is 100 millimeters. So if I type 100 here, this is 100. So divided by the value of pi, so pi is 3.142. So 100 divided by 3.142 gives me 31.8 which is approximately 32 millimeter this is it this is it so which is approximately 32 so it means by construction we are correct and by calculation we are also correct so this is how you can find the diameter of a circle when you are given the circumference of the circle thank you for listening